today's devotion, we're going to be reading Mark chapter 14, verses 32 to 42. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James and John along with him, and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. Going a little further, he fell to the ground and prayed that, if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Simon, he said to Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Once more he went away and prayed the same thing. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. They did not know what to say to him. Returning the third time, he said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Enough. The hour has come. Look, the Son of Man is delivered into the hand of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. It's a really challenging passage to read. As Jesus is overwhelmed with sorrow is how he describes his emotion. This is his greatest challenge as he understands what is coming in the next few hours of his life. He knows that he's going to be betrayed. He knows that he's going to be abandoned by his closest friends. He knows that the only way for God's plan of salvation to come about is for him to die, and to die in this terrible and painful and tragic way. Jesus is really wrestling with what that means, the implications of what it means to put his trust in his father's plans and to go ahead with it. And even more challenging is that these very friends that he's asking to stay and pray with him just can't stay awake uh, and soon will also abandon him. At this time, he is expressing all of his deep emotions in prayer to his father. And as he prays, uh, he points out a few things. He says uh, in verse 36, he says, Abba, Father, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. He points out that God can do anything. He understands that the Father has the power and authority over all things. But he also understands that God has a plan. He sees that God's plan of redemption has led him to this point, has brought him through his ministry as he reaches out to people, demonstrating the love and forgiveness and restoration that comes from his kingdom as it comes to earth. But also he expresses that he wishes there was another way. Jesus understands just how painful and hard it's going to be for him to go through this death on the cross. But there's something that we can really take from this, the way that he prays to his father. Uh, and there are things that he says, the ways he speaks to his father, he expresses three main things. First of all, he knows his father. He knows what his father is like. He understands God's character and the implications that has for his life. He understands that God is full of justice and truth. He knows that his father is a father who acts out of love and kindness and wants to bring compassion and grace to all people. Jesus knows his father. And then he prays to his father. He speaks from the anguish of his heart and expresses it to God. He tells him that he wants God to take this cup from him. Uh, it's one of the best things that we can do with those really tough emotions, even when we feel like we don't want to do what God wants. Bringing them to God is the best place for it. He wants to hear from us. And Jesus wants to pray to his Father. But finally, Jesus demonstrates that he trusts his Father. He knows his Father, he prays to his Father, and he trusts his Father. He says, yet not what I will, but what you will. He knows that God's plans are for the good of all people, and he has that same compassion within him. He knows the compassion of his Father. 
and it drives everything that Jesus does. It makes him walk that walk of faithfulness as he goes to the cross and lays down his life for people of uh, even those who uh, the ones who put him to death on the cross he asks for their forgiveness too jesus is truly dedicated to this plan of god to bring forgiveness and love and restoration to all mankind so today as we reflect on this passage let's remember that it's knowing the father is what's really important as we seek to do his will today that we shall pray to him and bring all of our thoughts and feelings good and bad and lay them at his feet and that may we trust the father as well as we know him better we can put our trust in his good and perfect plans